Hello everyone, welcome to Mango & Coast Patterns. My name is Marcy and in today's video, I'll be showing you how to sew a string bandeau top, also known as a lanai pattern in my Etsy shop. The lanai pattern is a string bandeau bikini top that ties around the neck and back. In this tutorial, I'll be teaching two ways to sew this top, non-reversible and reversible. I'll be using my regular sewing machine, so if you want to sew along with me, download the pattern at the link below. It's available in sizes extra small to double XL. Let's get right into it. I have all my pattern pieces lined up and ready to go. First, I'll be showing you how to sew the top the non-reversible way. Here, I have one piece of lining and one piece of the cell fabric. I am pinning them together with right sides facing each other. Then, using a quarter inch seam allowance, I will sew at the top and bottom of the bandeau with a zigzag stitch. Now, I'm flipping the piece inside out and pinning the sides down. I will sew at the very edge of each side like so. To create a channel for the straps, I am folding over the sides half an inch and I will sew a straight stitch right before the edges. And there we go, the bondo part of the top is done. In this tutorial, I used a white thread, but for a cleaner look, use the same color thread. Now let's move on to the straps. I am folding them right sides together and pinning them down. I will sew along the straps using a quarter inch seam allowance. Now I'm cutting off the excess seam as the fabric I am using in this tutorial is a bit thicker. And my straps will be strong enough like this. But if your fabric is much thinner, don't cut the seam. Leaving the seam will thicken your straps and make them nice and strong. Now let's get back to the straps. I'm using my loop turner to turn them inside out and inserting the straps through the channels. Last step, I am knotting the ends and the lanai top is now done. Now let me show you how to make it the reversible way. Once again, I have my two pieces of fabric. I will be pinning them right sides facing each other. My magic erase pen, I have marked the following areas to be left open. All four corners must have a half an inch opening. This will become the strap channels. I am leaving a one inch opening at the bottom of the top. Make sure to backstitch before all hole openings so the seams don't unravel. Keep in mind that the sides must be sewn at the very edge with no seam allowance. It should look like this once it's done. Using my 1 inch hole opening, I will turn the top inside out. I'll be poking out the corners and folding them in. Then I will top stitch the bandeau with a straight stitch half an inch from the edge. This will create the strap channels. And just like that, the top is now fully reversible. It can now be worn on either side. Last step, I'm blind stitching the remaining hole opening. And now the lanai top is done, the reversible way. Keep in mind that sewing the lanai pattern in these two different methods will result in a slight difference in length. The non-reversible way will give a hint of side cleavage, which is the actual intended fit of this pattern. And the reversible way will be slightly longer in length and won't have any side cleavage. So that concludes the end of this tutorial. If you'd like to sew this style, the pattern is available at the link below. It's available in sizes extra small to double XL. 
Follow me on Instagram at Mango and Coast for new swimwear patterns and other updates. And don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Happy sewing!